Now it's time to dry assemble the box and make threaded holes for the fittings. Before gluing up, we dry assembled the entire box. The easiest way to do this is simply clamp it together. Once the box is clamped together, you can mark all the screw hole locations. To avoid split out, make sure and drill pilot and shank holes first. We used a combination bit that actually gave us the pilot hole, the shank hole, and the countersink all in one shot. Assemble the box with number six by one inch stainless steel wood screws. The advantage of the screws is that we won't have to use clamps when we go to glue the tank together. Next, you'll want to mark the locations of the hose fittings. Make sure and allow for the thickness of the plywood when locating the holes. We made the holes a half inch larger in diameter since we're going to make our own threaded holes with epoxy. The first step to making threaded holes is to spray the threads on the fitting with spray lubricant. This will keep the threads from sticking to the epoxy. You'll also want to prop the panel up with a couple of half inch spacers and wax paper below. This allows the threads of the fitting to protrude past the inside face of the tank. Now it's time to mix up a batch of epoxy and apply a saturation coat to the edge of the hole. Apply epoxy to the threads of the fitting as well. Now you can thicken the epoxy and apply it again to both the hole and the fitting. After the fitting is in place, pack additional epoxy in between. A syringe is an easy way to make sure it gets completely filled. Let the epoxy set up overnight. Now that it's dry, you can twist the fitting out, revealing the new threads in the hole. The last step is to remove the excess epoxy on both sides of the panel. We simply used a random orbit sander to sand it down flush. Now you have perfectly threaded holes for your fittings. In the next video, we'll glue it all up and finish up the tank.